Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tina. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. All right, I have changed up the size of my daily duo. I am currently using the seven by nine. I started using it in July and I love it. Like love, love, love it. And I don't think I have done a plan with me in this size with you yet. So we're gonna work on a Friday saturday and possibly if there's time sunday so we'll see how far we get and i want to kind of show you how i use this for like during the week monday through friday setup and then how i set things up on the weekend because they are a little bit different first we're going to start with friday let's first talk a little bit about how I like to set this up because I like to keep things very functional in here. There is the timeline in here, which I use. There is a nice to-do list here, and then there is a blank section right here. Now, I like to split up my to-do section. So for the top section, I like to keep that my personal to-do area, and then the bottom here, I like to put my work. And the work to-do list, it's not like everything I need to do for work, but it's kind of like, uh, like the highlights of it. I do have a separate work planner that I like to use um, for all of my work things. All right, so I'm gonna be using Coffee Queen from Wrong Wrong. This is her first edition. She's coming out with another one. That will be coming soon. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I love Coffee Queen and I love it so much I needed to get another book because I really used a lot of stickers in here. But let me show you what it looks like this one is still available so if you want to grab this it does have like two color palettes in here it's got like a more colorful color palette with these florals and like pinks and blues and then there's also a more like coffee color palette with the browns in here which i that's the one that i've been using this one right here oh my gosh i'm like pretty much out of these. So that's the reason why I got another book. So this one I have not grabbed anything from, but I'm going to primarily use the one I've been using because obviously I want to use this book up first. Since I like to keep things very functional in here, I will go ahead and decorate kind of like the top of the page or the middle or at the bottom. That way it leaves me plenty of room for the checklist that I need to have in this uh, spread. So here I am just grabbing some stickers and really kind of figuring out the ones that I want to use. I wasn't quite sure. I knew I wanted to use the colorful palette in the Coffee Queen. So I'm grabbing just some stickers here, putting them on my sticker sheet. I really like this little cafe look, the little coffee house but I think I like this one much better with the girl in the front. Now this is a little bit bigger sticker, so I'm not quite sure how I want to use that, but I will figure it out as we go. And I really like this one right here, Coffee and Hustle. And I'm grabbing some of these other little elements here, and these are paper stickers. And the first ones I grabbed were clear stickers. Now, what I'm doing here is I want to grab some of these larger boxes because I like to create checklists within those boxes. And I also like to use uh, the boxes on Saturday. So kind of grabbing some of the ones that are in the brown, I figured grabbing them from the neutral sticker book would work well, considering we've got like a coffee theme in here. So my intent is to use that big sticker to go ahead and put my work checklist in. But of course, I want to do some decoration here at the bottom. So I cut up that really big floral sticker because they're pretty big stickers. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to see if I could put them in the bottom here. Wasn't quite sure how I wanted this to be placed but I went ahead and decided to put it on either side so it looked like it was just going across the bottom of the page. So before I lay down any other stickers like that box, I want to kind of figure out what I'm going to be doing um, up here because again, I want to keep that checklist area whether I create a new checklist or if I keep what I have there. 
So I decided to cover up the existing checklist there and some of the darker lines because this is a clear sticker and I don't like when the lines shadow through. So I'm grabbing this floral bouquet and I wanted to come out of the top of this sticker. I thought that that would be kind of cute. So it was definitely a little tricky because I had to like lay it down and then cut around it because I didn't want that to be shadowing through because these were both clear stickers. So now I, I'm just kind of like adjusting it. And like I said, it was a little bit tricky. I always feel like there's always one section whenever I'm decorating anything that is sort of like gives me a little bit of trouble. And I ended up finally getting it in here, but it definitely took a little finessing. Now, I do like to take this like adhesive off of the sticker a little bit. So you'll see me putting stickers on the back of my hand a lot. And that really helps to do that. That way, if I do need to reposition a sticker, it's a lot easier to pick it up. The stickers generally come up the paper pretty easily, but I have definitely found that that tip works really well. So now I want to add in some little heading boxes. So I'm kind of grabbing a selection of the colors, but then I saw these really cute little scalloped ones and I really like the way that those look better. So I want to have a heading in here for my personal and for my work list. And I like the way that it's coming along here. Decided to move over to Saturday. Now Saturday is going to be different because I do not do really anything with the timeline here. Generally, I would have like things I need to do in the morning. And then after that, uh, it's just sort of whatever we're going to do. So putting a few boxes in here where I can kind of fill things in uh, throughout the day works pretty good for me. So now I'm trying to figure out how I want to place that cafe with the girl sticker. And I'm going to need to put a to-do list in here. So I like the already made to-do list little headings. And I thought, well, maybe I'll use this long sticker for my checklist for the morning. But I decided against it. I, it just seemed like it was a little bit too busy. So now I am going to bring her up here. I kind of go back and forth a little bit with where I want to place her, but I finally decide that in the center works really well. Kind of want it to be balanced throughout the page. And then of course, when I open it up, I don't want it to look the same as like what I did on the other side, which it never does, especially when I'm going from Friday to Saturday, because of course, uh, Saturday, I don't really abide by the timeline at all. It's just, it is what it is. I don't have anything particularly scheduled unless of course we have specific plans. So here I am adding in this bigger box because I kind of like the idea of that illustration of her in front of the cafe, like kind of sitting on top of the box. I thought that that was really cute. And uh, that bigger sticker did come up pretty easily because again, I took some of the adhesive off and made it a little bit easier for it to come back up. So here I am going to add some flowers across the bottom. I really wasn't quite sure how I wanted to bring these flowers in here. And the flower stickers are really big. So I just decided to kind of cut them up into the pieces that I wanted to use and piece them together here at the bottom. And then just kind of like cutting them and repositioning them just to kind of really make it the way that I want to sit at the bottom on the page because I didn't want it to cover up too much of the box. So that's the nice thing about your stickers. You just cut them up and figure it out and create whatever you need to with them. All right, so now I, since I added those flowers on that one side on Saturday all the way at the bottom, I felt like I'm going to need to carry that all the way through to the other side because it just looked kind of empty down there. And generally I don't like to encroach on my timeline too much, but I figure at the very bottom, it should be okay. 
I don't really write in the things that I do on Friday night in my planner. It just kind of is whatever it is. So this sort of works out here for me. But again, I like trim the flowers down so that way I have like plenty room there for myself to fill in, especially for dinner time. These flowers were really easy to work with. Sometimes uh, when you cut up the flowers, it could be a little bit difficult, but since these were like largely drawn, like the illustrations themselves, it was really easy to kind of cut them down and just kind of piece them together into the bouquets that I, I thought would work best. All right, now I wanna go ahead and add in my heading for the to-do for Saturday because I definitely have things that I do on Saturday, like just things around the house. I like to have my to-do list there for that. And I grab these other little elements. I'm just kind of like bringing those into the page just to kind of bring it all together. Really like this little coffee in the morning because I'm always up early on Saturdays. I generally get up before my husband and let him sleep in a little bit. And it's nice and quiet in the house. I really love that time. And that's the time right before uh, my premieres on Saturday morning go up. So my premieres go up 9 a.m. Central Time, Saturday morning. So you are watching this right now. This is the day that I'm planning. So I cut that little flower to fit around the coffee and I, I generally like to use all the little bits that I do cut off from the stickers. I don't like to leave them if I can like fit them in. So that's what I'm doing here, just fitting that little piece in there. And when you cut your stickers, it's really nice because it actually gives you more stickers to work with. So if you are feeling a little limited on what you have to work with, think about cutting them and that way you can use them in more than just the one place. And this little round sticker is cute coffee queen. I like that. Just kind of fit in there nicely. And this boss lady coffee mug was perfect for my little work schedule down here. So adding that in here. Now I wanna go ahead and add in my headings. So I will add in my personal heading here for my personal to-do list and my work to-do list, along with using this stencil here to draw some lines for my work to-do list. And I always like to uh, write in my lunch hour and my dinner hour, and that way I can help try to keep myself on schedule. Since I do work for myself, it sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. And generally I take lunch at noon. Sometimes I'll take it a little bit earlier. As a matter of fact, I did take it a little bit earlier today because I'm actually filming this on Friday. So I am working on filling in my planner for Friday and I'm it's actually already Friday, but that's okay. I really wanted to show you how this comes together. Uh, the, like a weekday day and then a weekend day. Here I am writing in the video that you are currently watching and that's my YouTube premiere at 9 a.m. And then right after this, uh, my husband and I will have our big breakfast. He always cooks breakfast on Saturday mornings. It's so sweet. So as I'm finishing up my video here, he is starting breakfast. And that way, when the video finishes up, we sit down, we have a nice breakfast, and it's just kind of like a nice, easy morning for us. 
until we have to do things like laundry and fold it and put it away. And I just am making my list of things I need to do for today here, which includes like the dishwasher, either loading or unloading, usually loading because after we have a big breakfast on Saturday, we got to load up the dishes and I need to dust and I need to clean my bathroom. So it's definitely chore morning going on here. I'm just adding in a few of these little flowers in here. I had pulled them and I figured, well, I might as well use them. So now I'm just looking for some little like flowers to kind of like add in here and there. So I add this little like blue tulip flower that I found and just kind of looking through and seeing what other cute little stickers I want to put into the spread. I find this coffee and I think that this is so cute, like right up here. I realized I didn't put my little checklist circles or squares, so I am adding that in to my to-do list for this morning. I really like the way that this came together. It's very decorative on Saturday, but I still have plenty of room here for my checklist of things to do. And then I do have my two boxes there and I can fill those in, whatever we end up doing for the day, really not quite sure. And uh, there's just plenty of room there for me. I don't really worry about the time frame on Saturday. It's more important for me to keep things very functional on the days of the week. So on Friday, I do have my timeline, which is clear and easy for me to fill in as I need to, as well as add in like all of my, the things I need to do for my personal use, as well as for my work. And I really think that Saturday is just so pretty. I really like that girl sitting in front of the cafe. I think that is just a really pretty sticker. So I was happy that I was able to use that in here. I've really been enjoying using this size for my daily duo. I have plenty of room to decorate it and I have plenty of room to be functional in it as well. So I did use, of course, the Coffee Queen sticker book. That was the original one. And I used the neutral color box uh, sticker book for this spread. I am an affiliate of Wrong Wrong. If you do decide to purchase anything, I greatly appreciate if you use my affiliate link and you will find that down below. And with that link, you would get an additional 10% off. So make sure that you use that and save yourself a little bit of money. And if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do. And drop me a comment down below. Let me know what are you using for your uh, planning? Are you using a daily, weekly, or just even a monthly spread all by itself? Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. And if you watch this all the way through to the end, be sure to leave me a coffee emoji. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.